So this footage is from the same thrift store, but it's actually the next day I decided to come back and boy was I glad I did. What's up y'all, it's Jeffrey back here at Flippin' Profit. And in this video, I'm gonna take you along with me to a thrift store where we find some pretty good stuff, uh, including a vintage Westinghouse fan. I should say antique because that's how old it is. And uh, I don't find antiques that often, so it was a very exciting find. But um, before we do that, I wanna go over a few sales that I had recently, just a few Bolo items. Those are uh, items to be on the lookout for. So I'll make it really quick, starting out with these Yamaha speakers. Um, these are speakers that went to a surround sound system. I found four of them, all of them alike, at a thrift store for $4 a piece. Um, I went ahead and bought them all, and they originally, I believe, came as a five-piece set with speakers and maybe another subwoofer or something like that. But when I looked up the model number on it, I saw that they were selling in twos for around $50. So I went ahead and lotted mine in twos and uh, sold one of them for full asking price, $49.77 with free shipping. And then I took a best offer on the other pair for uh, $45 with free shipping. Shipping. And uh, these aren't really big, huge uh, surround sound speakers. They were actually very small. I was able to fit both of them inside a regional rate box A. So shipping was very cheap and uh, turned out to be a really good flip. So I've talked about plenty of times speakers can be a good flip, computer speakers, surround sound speakers, and here's another example of it. Here's a rare one for me. I sold this trombone um, that I recently picked up at a yard sale for, I believe $30 is how much I paid for it. It was in decent condition. It did have a few small dents on it around the uh I wouldn't know what part you call it, the end part where the, you know, the air comes out or whatever. I had it listed for around $120 and someone made me an offer for $100 uh, with free shipping and I took it. It did cost me around $28 to ship, but uh, really that wasn't that much and uh, made plenty of profit on it. So yeah, definitely be on the lookout for uh, any type of instruments. Here is a uh, vintage Minolta X570 camera. This is a, uh, like a 35 millimeter film camera. It came with an extra zoom lens. Um, I actually got Got this for free from uh, my uh, cousin that uh, owns a thrift store. It was in pretty rough condition, very dirty, but after testing it out, it did work. So I went ahead and took the time to clean it up, get everything looking nice and uh, presentable, and then had it listed for around $80, but took a best offer of $65 with free shipping. Here's what seems to be a vintage golf shirt that I picked up. It was made in the USA. Um, St. Croix, I believe is how you pronounce the brand name. I'm not a huge golf fan, so not very familiar with some of the brands and things like that that uh, maybe other golf fans would uh, immediately recognize. But when I found this at the thrift store, which uh, you'll actually see in this video here in a minute, um, I knew it was very good quality and I knew there was probably something special about it. Looked it up, uh, comps were pretty good on these. So I uh, got this one listed for around $35, but took a best offer of $32 with free shipping. Next up are a few pair of golf shoes. Here are some FootJoy Hyperflex that uh, were in pretty dirty condition, but after cleaning them up, I did get them listed for around $35 and they sold for $30 with free shipping. And here's another pair of golf shoes. These are uh, Callaway golf shoes, a nice gray leather size 13 for men. I had these listed for around $30, but took a best offer of $26 with free shipping. And another pair of uh, red and white Callaway golf shoes, same size 13 for men. I believe these all came from the same person, um, but got these sold for $35 with free shipping. So those are all the Bolo items that I have to share with you today. So um, without any further ado, let's get to the thrift store. So right off the bat at the first thrift store, I noticed these women's um, BOC shoes. These are the Born Concept shoes, uh, some nice black leather clogs, and they were in very good condition. They're only asking $3 for their shoes here at this thrift store, so I decided to go ahead and pick these up. And then I noticed these Nike shoes that did have some pretty decent comps on them, and I picked them up for now, but later on at checkout, after looking over them a little further, I noticed some wear on the uh, one of the soles, so I decided to put them back on the shelves. The next item I came across is this Mac Tools jacket, and I couldn't really tell if this was a true vintage single stitch, but based on the logos and the uh, the style of the jacket, I do believe this is vintage. I couldn't find exact comps, uh, no jackets that were exactly like this one, but similar ones were selling for around $25 to $30. They were asking about six bucks for this one, so I went ahead and picked it up. 
And then not too further down the rack, I came across this Big Bill FR jacket. That means it's a flame resistant jacket. They're only asking $3.95 for, which is a great price. Um, and although it does have this uh, Rockwell automation embroidery on the front of it, that's a, a specific company brand. Um, I did see some selling with actually that exact embroidery on it. They were selling for around $35 and this one actually had a lining in it as well. The other comps I saw didn't have that. So uh, I knew right away this is gonna hold some good value and went ahead and picked it up. Next, I found this uh, plain Tommy Bahama polo. Nothing special about it. It's just bread and butter. They're only asking $2.35, and I know I can get at least around $17 for it. The next few shirts here are that St. Croix brand that I was talking about. I actually came across three of them. The first one being the one I showed you that I already sold for $32, this nice multicolor geometric design polo. And then the other two were the same style polos, just different colors, uh, red and blue. So I picked all three of these up for $2.35 a piece and they've already turned out to be a pretty good flip. And then about halfway through the thrift store, I did notice a sign that said uh, women's jeans and pants were only $2 today. I didn't happen to notice that coming in the store, so quickly rushed over there to see what they had and only came across this one pair of rock revival pants from women they did show some wear though the uh, patch on the back of it was uh, missing a few pieces but for two bucks I went ahead and took a risk on it and uh, we'll see if it turns out to be a good flip so on to another thrift store um, right away I found these Dell computer speakers had the subwoofer with the, uh, I believe, tower speakers is what they call them. They were asking $10 for them, and uh, comps on eBay were for around 40 bucks. so I decided to go ahead and pick them up. I realized shipping probably will be a little costly, but there should still be plenty of meat on the bone. Next, I was checking out the kitchenware, trying to up my kitchenware game. Not very uh, familiar with it, but always trying to expand my knowledge. And I was able to find this uh, Rochgus, Rochgus, uh, not really sure how you pronounce that, but noticed it was made in Italy, this nice uh, frying pan. Showed a pretty good bit of wear, but when I looked up comps on this exact pan, they were selling pre-owned for around $40, and this thrift store was asking $6 for it, so I went ahead and picked it up, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. And next were these two different size uh, frying pans by the Cook's brand. There was an 8-inch pan and a matching 10-inch pan. Um, they wanted $4 for the 8-inch pan, $6 for the 10-inch pan, so total of $10, and I believe I can get around $40 for the pair. I'll stick those together in a listing, and it should be a pretty good flip. So this footage is from the same thrift store store but it's actually the next day I decided to come back and boy was I glad I did. Right away in the electronic section I found this Yamaha stereo receiver that they were asking $30 for but um after looking up comps with the remote it sells for about $150 without the remote it's selling for around $120 so I went ahead and picked it up. Next I found a few pair of men's jeans. Uh, these are some big sizes. Here's a pair of 550 Levi's size 40 by 32 and the thing you really want to check for on big size jeans are to make sure the belt loops are in good condition as well as the uh, inner thighs to make sure it's not rubbed thin those can be very common problems with uh, big jeans like this these were in really good condition um they're asking four dollars for them so i went ahead and picked them up and then i found this pair of 31 relaxed wrangler jeans size 42 by 32 same price four bucks for them and they were in even better condition so i went ahead and grabbed them as well and then right behind them were these wrangler 20x jeans i believe size 42 by 32 as well same price four dollars they were in pretty decent condition and so I went ahead and grabbed them and for all three of these pairs of jeans I'll be expecting about 20 to 26 bucks each next in the shoe section found a few decent pairs starting with these Brahma steel toe work boots they were in very decent condition only showed uh, two little white spots on each of the uh, toes but I should be able to remove that with a uh, magic eraser this thrift store is asking four dollars for their boots and after looking up comps these are selling for around 30 so this should be a pretty good flip next I found a pair of Hoka 1-1 shoes and got super excited because I never really come across too many Hoka 1-1s and if you don't know this is a great reselling brand they hold very high value it's a very popular running and athletic shoe and comps for these were going for around 40 to 50 and they were in pretty good condition so for three dollars I went ahead and picked them up pause right here for just a second does anyone notice what's in the background that is the Westinghouse fan that I will eventually find, but I just wanted to point out that, like I said in the beginning, antiques are so rare to me that I probably sat over there in this corner for about 15 minutes before I finally noticed it sitting there on that bench. Just goes to show if your eye is not trained for it, you could easily walk by stuff that is uh, probably worth plenty of money. So watching videos like this and getting familiar with items and seeing them and knowing what they look like will really help you when you go out and try to source items for yourself. But either way, we'll be getting to it in just a minute. Let's continue next i found this pair of nike shoes for women 
nice black shoes that were going to be an easy cleanup and uh, comps on eBay were going for about $30. So for three bucks, I went ahead and picked these up. Something else I forgot to show you I found on a shelf on the way over to the shoe section was this uh, PlayStation controller. They're asking $4 for it and it is in good condition. So I went ahead and picked it up to put it with a bundle maybe in the future. If not, I can sell it by itself and they sell for about $20 to $25. And after I was done showing that off is when I did notice the fan. So I went over to pick it up, was checking to see how legit it was and immediately Immediately after picking it up, I could tell, yeah, this is real deal antique. It's so heavy. The mechanics in this thing are so outdated. It has been tampered with. The electric cord has been cut. Also, the uh, switch has been changed. The thrift store was asking $8 for it, so I went ahead and picked it up. Comps on eBay for similar items like this in working condition are selling for around $200 to $300. I don't plan on trying to repair this at all to resell it. All I'm going to do is sell it as is because I know there's refurbishers out there always looking for uh, extra parts and things like that. So I'm literally not going to touch it, not even going to try to clean it up and make sure that I detail that in the description that I am trying to keep it in its most original form. And I'm just going to send it straight to auction. I'm going to start it at 99 cents with free shipping and I believe I can get at least 40 to 50 dollars for it as is. So after that, got back to the shoes and found these A6 women's shoes. Nice running athletic shoes, size eight and a half. They're only asking three bucks for them. So I went ahead and grabbed them and I should be expecting around 20 bucks on eBay. Next are these uh, blue suede type shoes that um was kind of surprised to see that these are Dansko brand. Usually I only find women's clogs uh, with the Dansko brand and uh, they're very good sellers. So I went ahead and looked up comps on these and uh, found some similar ones for around $30. So for three bucks, I went ahead and picked these up. And once again, checking out the kitchenware, I found another good pan. I believe this is a stir fry pan. It's a uh, Calphalon Classic, I believe how you pronounce it. 12 inch pan that uh, showed a little bit of wear on the bottom. They're asking six bucks for it and comps on ebay are selling for around 30 dollars so i'll take a risk on it we'll see how it does well that's gonna be it for today y'all i really appreciate you joining me hope you enjoyed some of these finds that we had at the thrift store i'm very excited to get this uh westinghouse fan on an auction this sunday but in the meantime i really appreciate everyone who continues to watch my videos and uh, support the channel make sure you hit that like button for me if y'all enjoyed this video today and until next time you know what to do Keep flipping. You thought I was going to leave you hanging, huh?